Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me today. I have a colorful, rainbowish, nautical, faith-themed project to share with you. I think I've covered all the bases, haven't we? So let's just dive right in. I've got a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock. I'm going to uh, emboss this outline sailboat image. It's from the Sail Away stamp set. You can see it right there. Now, it's not a new stamp set. It's not really an old one either, but... Um, now you can see there's a solid sailboat and then there's an outline. It would have been really simple to stamp the sailboat outline in black and then stamp the solid one in different colors, right? That would be fun, that would be easy, you could do that. But no, 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 I never wanna go the easy route. I wanna emboss like 12 of these sailboats all over the card front and then I'm gonna color them in with my zigga zigga ziggies. Yes, because I am on a ziggy kick if you could call it that. So um, I probably last five project I've made. I, you know, for a long time, I was um, intimidated by my Ziggy Ziggy. I've got the 24 pack. It's not nearly enough. Let me just tell you, once you get going on the Ziggy kick, you need them all. Like I just need more colors in my life. I need more Ziggies in my life. I need more color options, even though I'm gonna work in rainbow order, no matter what the case, it's, it's always gonna be rainbow, but I need more colors to fit in my rainbow. You know? Okay, so um, have you checked out the Rainbow Card Challenge? Dawn Wolfslagle from W Plus 9. You all know who she is. She's an amazing, incredible designer, uh, fantastic watercolor artist. She started off this Rainbow Card Challenge. I made a card the other day because when she made her project, which you got to go check out, by the way, she made like three fabulous rainbows with the cute little W Plus 9 panda images in it. And she tagged Sherry Carroll and myself to go ahead and you know uh carry on the rainbow card challenge so we're but i made one the other day you make a rainbow project and then you tag two people so i tagged two of my faves debbie hughes from lime doodle of course hello and christina werner like i'm their number one fan okay and hopefully they'll do it and they'll continue to tag people but what i wanted to say was Anyone is welcome to join in. There's no rules, no restrictions, no deadlines. If you feel like you want to make a rainbow project and, you know, go for it. Jump right in, tag somebody, have fun with it. You can use any product you want, any um, technique, any brand, any style. All it's got to have in it is a rainbow. You know how easy that can be, right? Uh, I mean, I wake up in the morning, out pops rainbow. I literally have to try very, very hard to not make a rainbow project i don't know what it is about me and <laughs> believe me i have been through it like uh there was a time early on in my card making that i knew people were like oh my gosh another rainbow but you know when i stopped trying to not be who i am is when i became most comfortable with who i am do you know what i mean like just embrace if you like rainbows then just embrace it if you don't like rainbows then just embrace that too so when you stop trying to be who you're not and just be comfortable with who you are. Everything just runs smoothly, doesn't it? <laughs> so I've learned, you know, to just let go. And if out pops a rainbow, then out pops a rainbow. And if it's not a rainbow, then that's okay too. So just be happy with whatever comes out. Like that's what I try to tell my daughters anyway. Not that they're card makers, but just in life in general. Like there are, uh, my daughters are 15 and 12. And then I have a five-year-old. And I got boys interspersed in there as well. But you can imagine the kind of drama that's going on up in here. And I always try to tell them, listen, if you can just learn to go with the flow a little bit, I try to tell them, I don't know if they're listening to me. <laughs> uh, maybe some of it's seeping in, but life will run a whole lot smoother when you stop trying to be who you're not, right? So now what I'm doing is flicking. I got my Gonzai Tomba, Tomba, Gonzai Tombi watercolors, flicking on some white and some black. And this is inspired by Yansun. Have you seen her oh, amazing flicking that she does? I love it. So now I'm moving on to the sentiment. I've got this uh, Painted Faith word die cut. I uh, adhered some fun foam to Nina Solar White. Run that through my big shot. You got an instant dimensional word die cut that I love. I'm going to pair it with an embossed sentiment from the Sail Away stamp set. And I thought that this sentiment tied so great with that faith word die cut. It says, here's what the sentiment says. It says, she stood in the storm and when the wind did not blow her way, 
she adjusted her sales. And I think to me, it kind of goes along with what I was telling the girls. You know, when life doesn't go your way, when things don't go your way, uh, maybe adjust your attitude. Oh, but also it can be like when you're in a really tough spot, in a trial, in a storm, adjust your sales, meaning go with the flow. Don't try to resist, but go with it. And you will see that having faith is so important. And whether that's faith in yourself or faith in God, whatever that means to you. Uh, and, you know, having faith in the storm that you can learn what you need to learn. It's not about getting out of the storm, but it's about being in the storm, learning how to adjust your sails so that you can learn what you need to learn. And that means maybe adjusting your attitude or your outlook and that you can grow and move forward. Sorry, there's your words for the day, your words of wisdom from Laura Fedora. Yes, didn't mean to get all preachy. Just trying to make a nautical themed faith rainbow card for you there. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.